What is up guys, All right, Jack, it's Dan, I'm gonna be going over what I'm using to troll for trout. All right, there's a couple things that I use that might be a little bit different than most of you guys. Some of you guys might already be using these things, and some are probably using them, but keep watching to find out exactly what I'm using, and I'll go through my top five baits, maybe even six, I guess it depends on how you count these things, but uh, types of baits for the most part. So let's get started. Number one, and probably, uh, one of the best baits out there for it is jerk baits. Um, I love fishing these baits because you can troll them at a fairly decent speed and you can rip them and pause them and that's uh, the best part of it is you get hit on that pause and they want to rip the rod out of your hand and that's what's I just love it. So this right here is uh, just the, the, the shadow wrap but you can use any size jerk bait. Uh, just match it to the size of the fish that you're fishing for. If you're fishing for smaller fish, don't use this big five inch bait. Use a little bit smaller of a bait. But uh, if you got bigger fish around, definitely don't be afraid to throw a big bait because they're gonna eat it. Trout are very aggressive. You'll find out if you start fishing them the right way. Another bait that I like to throw that is probably not in most of your guys' tackle boxes when you're fishing for trout, but you probably have a bunch for bass, is lipless crankbaits. And uh, here on my own waters, I like throwing crawfish, crawdad colors essentially. Cleaning a couple of these fish, I was finding crawdads actually in them. So I started uh, trolling rattle traps or lipless baits essentially, because this isn't even a rattle trap. This is the six cents uh, crawdad pattern, lipless, and killing it on these guys. They love them. It, especially when the water's dingy and hard to see, the sound that these things produce underwater is amazing and it just draws those fish in and definitely catches a lot of trout as well now for one that you guys probably all have in your tackle box is a variation of spoons this right here is a crocodile um, definitely catches its fair share of trout but you can't pass up a good cast master or a little, little cleo they all catch fish. I mean, you could be throwing Thomas Boynton's, pretty much any spoon. They all have their own little action to them and they catch fish. So see what your fish like. Um, the fish at my lake love the cast masters and they love the crocodiles. But down south when I was fishing, like uh, Piru and stuff when I used to fish it, the uh, Thomas Boynton's and the little Cleos killed it at that lake. So try different things at your lake until you find what the fish like. Try different colors, especially with the spoons the flashing that it, they have definitely drives the fish crazy and they'll get them to bite. Probably my number one fish catcher, uh, especially in Southern California reservoirs that have a lot of shad, is a square bill. The square bills kill it for some reason. It's the action that they have. Um, this one particularly has a rattle in it, but uh, there's just the, that action, that side to side action that those things have draw those fish in and get strikes day in and day out. I almost never go out and do not have one of these guys tied on because they just flat out catch fish every single time. And if I'm not catching trout on them, I'm usually catching bycatch of bass or some kind of pan fish or something. Everything will hit this thing, but I get a lot of trout, particularly on the square bill. Even up in the Sierra um, Mountains, I'm getting fish on this for some reason. And, there's not a lot of shad up there, but they're still hitting it, and it's probably because of the action of it going back and forth is why they're hitting that bait. So it definitely has that uh, attractant to it, and the fish are loving it. And that's the same thing with like, uh, this is the Rapala scatter wrap, and it has the same effect. These fish love it because of that side to side action. They also have this, this is a shad body, but they also have it in a minnow profile. That's a little bit uh, slimmer, and if that's what you're mainly uh, feeding on your trout, I would go with something a little bit slimmer of a profile, but you just have to know what your main forage is. If minnows are the, the main thing these trout are eating in your lake, then go with a minnow body uh, bait, like the you know regular jerk bait or the shadow wrap here that I have. If it's a shad, then go with the scatter wrap and the shad body, or go with that um, lipless even. Go with a lipless that looks like a shad um, if you don't have a lot of crawdads. I like the crawdad color in my lake, but yours might be a little different. And my Number one, probably, um, this thing has been killing it, and 
there's variations of this you can definitely do it different ways but right here is a Berkeley mice tail right I put it on a number two uh, rebarb hook and I put that behind one of these little um, shad wraps it's a jointed shad wrap I take off the back hook right there so you can see you can see that back hook is off completely and with that being with that back hook being off I add about 8 to 12 inches of line and I attach the mice tail and that action that that thing has behind that lure draws fish in this thing's acting as an attractant and bringing them in and that mice tail is just hard for those trout to resist they hit it almost every time um, I'd say 75% of the time it's on the mice tail and when they miss that they're going for the shad wrap so both are drawing fish in which is awesome and it's just flat out catches fish guys you got to give this a shot if you haven't yet you can also do it on a uh, a spoon up in the Sierras I have a, a small cast master like a 16th ounce and I have the back hook removed and a small swivel on there and then I do the same thing I put a mice tail on just a small Aberdeen hook and cast that out and it gives me especially on windy days it gives me the ability to cast way out there still and fish those mice tail which are hard to do with just a small split shot from shore and stuff like that so give that a shot up in the Sierra if you're up there um, or give it a shot at your local lake when you're trolling around or even casting from shore it's an extremely effective way to fish those because it gives that mice tail a little bit more action than just fishing it with just a weight or something like that so give it a shot and hopefully one of these baits helps you guys catch your next personal best trout give them a shot comment down below and let me know what your favorite bait is for trolling for trout and uh, yeah give me some ideas of some other stuff to try obviously this isn't everything that you can use there's hundreds of baits out there that you can use these are some of my favorites um, I like the Tasmanian Devils those things are really cool I just started using those this last year and actually caught a fish today on one so they're awesome baits there's a lot of different baits out there though so these are my top baits that I have had really good luck with up and down the state of California here on the west coast and I'm sure it would work great throughout the country. So give it a shot, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys give us a video a thumbs up. And I really want to hear what you guys are using. Comment down below. Tight lines, guys.